Oh, fuckers. Oh, dear. Welcome back to E20 Zone TV. How the fuck have we give that away? How have we give that away, mate? I am fucking livid. Absolute livid with that. Um, Sheffield United 2, West Ham United fucking 2. And I know what people are saying about Moyes, but fucking hell, listen. Right. Some of these fucking players, man. Some of these fucking players. Sue Fowl. I've been saying for time. Not good enough. Not fucking good enough. Ariola, mate. I agree with William there. Life of West Ham fan. Fucking hell, man. I'm fuming. Fuming. <laughs> Absolutely fuming. Not even going to lie to you, mate. Sue Fowl's a fucking mug, bruv. Honestly. 100% class A cunt. I will say that. Um, before we get started, please do smash the like on the video. Subscribe to each on his own TV if you want to. If you don't want to, thank you and fuck off. How about that? Because I don't really care tonight, mate. Um, I am so pissed off with that. Really am. Really fucking am, mate. Um, I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to begin, but I'm going to start off at the beginning right, as, I, as I try and compose myself because I'm fucking livid. Um, listen, we come out slow, everything. Danny Ings today, superb. Man the match. Totally man the match. Done really, really well for West Ham today. I'll give him his due on that. But, like, Cornet scored. Good goal. We can see the stupid goal. Areola. Fucking going to get criticised tonight. I'm not going to lie. It's going to get some criticism. Um, and we're going at half-time 1-0. We come out second half. Wasn't good for my second half. I'm not going to lie. I really am not going to lie on that. We get a penalty. Danny Ings. Great work from him. Yet again. Right. And then, in the end, we self-destruct. Like West Ham of old. Yeah. That was West Ham of old uh, in that last two or three minutes. What's Soufal doing? Right, what the fuck is Soufal doing? If you're going to double book Vladimir Soufal, why have you not double booked uh, Hamer for Sheffield United, who fouled Bowen in the second half? It's just fucking criminal, isn't it? Let's be real here. Let's be absolutely real. Um, I'm going to come to your chat. And then they score that penalty in the dying sort of minutes and rob us of two points. Yeah, and it's a big two points and all because I, I thought the boys done done well today to a point, yeah? And I think us winning the game, we deserve to win that game and we end up drawing the game. It feels like a fucking loss. It really does. But I'm going to get to your comments, as I always do, and I'm going to wait for the boys to come on and have their say and just fucking so angry, mate. So angry. Fuming. I agree, mate. I really do. Johnson played very well when he come on. I must admit, I was shocked he come on. When he come on in a midfield position, and that's like, that is just, you know, just says it all, really. Um, link in chat. Let's get the link in for certain men who want to come on and have their say about West Ham today. Let's have a look. Bosh. Bosh. And it, bosh. What have we got? That, 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 that. Bang. There you go. Right, links in the chat. If anyone wants to come on and have their say on today. Like, I'm fucking livid, mate. I'm so angry with that. Yeah, it is unreal. And that is a, it's just, it just tells you all you need to know about, like, uh, officiating. Um, I don't think Ariola has fouled uh, their player, very soft pen. But it's just stupid, though. Like, it's I think Safal's more to blame than Ariola. Like, why are you going in like that and just putting the pressure on us and getting sent off? You're just mugging us off. People keep backing Safal up. Yeah? Backing him up, backing him up, backing him up. He's not good enough. I say it once, I've said it a thousand times. You need, a, you need a, someone who knows what they're doing and he just, he does stupid things. How can you get booked twice in a, in a matter of minutes? That's just, ah, oh, just madness. Welcome, Sir Daddy. What do you want to say? Um, it is a disgrace. Yeah. F firstly, on their pen, our goalkeeper, his lips bleeding. But no, it's a penalty on them. A penalty on us. Um, and then rugby tackle. Are we watching NFL or are we watching um, Premier League football? Because th that is disgrace. It's fucking terrible, mate. Terrible. Let's be honest. It's, it's and, the, and the other <laughs> thing, the other thing, when we had our penalty, that that should have been a, another yellow card. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't get me wrong. It, it wasn't good today. And listen, if anyone wants to come on that their say today, they're more than welcome. Um, what about Danny Ings today, mate? Oh, I, I was off on my feet. Bravo to Danny Ings. That was special. Yeah, I know, mate. That, was, that was something. And I feel bad for him. He should have he scored. 
But and he had a big, he had a big chance at the end. Right but it, at it the was, end, it was a good block. It's just stupid. And then Sue foul. You know you're on a yellow card. Okay, yes, maybe it was a yellow card, but you're on a yellow card. What the fuck are you doing? I know, I know mate. I know. I've got to come to this comment, Gary. They didn't have players today, mate. Not a chance. No, they not, didn't. Not both, a chance. But both times they scored. End of first half, we were dominating them. We Mid we chance, should have we should have been three or four nil up before they scored. And Easily. then the and then the last half, the last minutes, we had multiple other chances that yeah. we missed. Like Bowen, where was his shooting boots today? Awful. Yeah, but, I might. But what's it called? Sue foul should be dropped. Ben Johnson, give him the new contract, and he is the right back. <laughs> Okay, yeah. And then he's a fucking he's a fucking midfielder and all at this rate. Like but, I couldn't believe he came out of this midfield. Right. Well, so that, but another well, thing. Today shows why we need Calvin Phillips. I'm hearing people say we don't need it. Yeah, we need him. Because yeah. th their first goal with Edson Alvarez on the pitch, their first goal doesn't come because he, he gets there before the player. Yeah, I hear he, you, man. He sniffs it out. But it's just stupid. I mean these refs, man. Wait, so right, dumb. so Daddy, I'm going to let you go. Right, I'm going to get other people on. Peace. Right, from one American to another, Lucas, how the fuck do you feel about that? Because I'm fuming, mate. <laughs> I can't lie. Go on. Um, it's just abysmal, really. I mean, so many things happen, so many things to comment on, but... And, like, people that watch us, right, and even, like, Alfie and Mitch to a point they'll they'll joke about my my ref ratings and why they're always so low today is a perfect example as to why i i barely ever give any credit to referees and when i do i think it means a little something but today don't get me wrong we were not that great but we, we were robbed in my opinion absolutely robbed three points taken away again i'm not saying we really deserved to win because i thought we were pretty crap but it's just I'm numb to the point now, to be honest with you. Like these decisions we keep seeing are absolutely shambolic, arrestable, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to be straight when I say this, right? The reason why we drew the game today because we didn't take our fucking chances. This game should have been dead and buried in the first half. We had so many chances in and around their box, and better passing, better sort of composure. Like we should have put this team to bed today. And I can tell you why we didn't take our chances. Because everyone on the pitch today, bar Danny Ings, was allergic to laying the ball off. We didn't lay the ball off once. We could have scored know. three times today if we just laid the ball off. Yeah. But West no. Ham Online, welcome. Good evening. What are you saying, mate? I refuse to comment on the performance because that was a robbery. I don't care what anyone says about Moyes or anything. By the way, Moyes is sub. The fans were chanting, you don't know what you're doing. Pretty clear he did know what he was doing because Johnson was quality when he came True. on. It was good, um, yeah. I'll give him that. I think he found himself a new role. Hopefully. The, honestly, the refereeing, disgusting. I've tried to find his address <laughs> already. Um, so, but one I on the honestly, red card for Sue Fowl. Don't get me wrong, the second yellow was a clear yellow, but the first one, he literally got, I, I don't know. Absolute second, embarrassment. Their penalty, people have said, oh, it is a pen. How? I don't even, I genuinely don't even think he touched him. That happens like a hundred times a game. And then if that's a penalty, our one at the end is definitely a penalty. They're I was going to say that. They don't even look at that. it. Honestly, it's well, a joke. Yeah, Areola was the one bleeding in the end. Anyone, robbery. listen, I, I've, had, I've had one comment today so far saying about Moyes. Yeah. It's not nothing to do with fucking Moyes today. Nothing to do with Moyes whatsoever, right? We dominated this team. We had so many chances. The players on the pitch didn't take their fucking chances, right? Because it's obvious. Maxwell Corner, he scores a goal, but that's all he's done in the whole game. Danny Ings today, brilliant. Like, I've got to be honest. Like, that, was, fucking... that was his best match in a West Ham kit by some miles. Oh, best match ever in a West Ham kit by a fucking long way, right? But, like, how can people blame fucking like, Moyes today, right? Let's blame fucking Sue Fowl today, people. Let's blame that prick for getting booked twice. In fucking two minutes, 
but that's I, I don't know. I think the Sioux Fowl one's harsh, but he wasn't great today. I'll say that, but it's an you embarrassment. Don't get put, he, got, oh, Lucas. he it was an embarrassment. He got sent off though. He should never even been on a yellow. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's it's just stupid. It's just fucking. It's a fucking div, isn't it? It's it a is, but, but Gustavo Almer should have been sent off too. He was on a yellow, yeah. stopped counterattack, and he yeah. got nothing. This ref was an absolute disgrace today. He should be shot. <laughs> Alf, what do you make of sort of like? Let's go into the game, right? Because I've done my little bit. What you said about the game today, Alf? It was rubbish, but we should have won. We'd won the game. And when 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 Corne went off, who I know he scored, but he was flipping shocking. When he, he went off, and Johnson legit. came on. We were we were good for fifteen minutes. We were very good. We we should have gone three one up. The problem is Danny Ings, as good as he was today, he's so he's got so little confidence in front of goal. He takes about eighty touches before he shoots, so every shot gets blocked. Should have made it three one. Definitely, Ings has to score one of them. And then mm. they go up the other end. Penalty for <sighs> honestly. First, a red card. It's not a red card. On it, I don't even know what to say. It's disgusting. McBurney it's didn't not... even fall over either. He like it's... he jumped, fell on his feet, and then like two seconds later, delays delay fall. Like it's so shit. It's not a red card, right? But it's just stupidity from Sufel. When you are putting yourself up on offer, yeah, then you're gonna look like getting the firing line. He, he put himself up on offer today, didn't he? It's fucking stupid. Like. I don't know what to say really on today's performance. People say it wasn't great. I actually thought West Ham played all right today. Like considering the personnel and the circumstances, I thought West Ham played all right. It, right, the first half we should have been we should have blitzed these team out of out of sight, and we didn't. We just allowed them to come into the I game. Th every I think time. I think all in all, people can nitpick all they want, but with who we had available today, we played our strongest eleven, and we played. Is honestly as good as I could could have possibly imagined with that eleven. Apparently, Sue Fowl's first yellow was for asking why it's not a red card. <laughs> Fuck you know. It's but that that's what I'm saying. Like I totally agree that once you're on a yellow, you got to be professional, not take the bait, not do what he did. But oh, it's just so annoying. Like I am, I hate having the referees be the talking point of a result. It should never be that way. And the fact that there was no VAR check at the end either is an absolute disgrace. An absolute yeah. disgrace. And what Alfie said about um, the, the Boeing one, if the player's not looking at the ball and he's rubbing... And he's got his arms Bowen. fucking wrapped around him as well, like a fucking right. NFL tackle. How, how, how can that not be a pen? But if, if that's, if that's in, the, in the opposition's box at a corner and someone's wrapped their arms around him and pulls him down, yeah, that's a that's a that's a free kick in the opposite direction. Like if someone's like like bulldozing their way through and pushing people out the way, it's just fucking shit. But the problem is, I don't want to say solely on the ref because we had our fucking chances. Right, we had so many chances to, to stick this team away, and we just kept going on and on. And I just knew I knew what was coming in the first half. I fucking knew it. I sat there. I went, we're missing so many chances. You watch them score, bang! Fucking Diaz comes back and haunts us again. Just again, isn't it? It's just it's fucking geezers like it's like death taxes and fucking uh, Diaz comes back and just scores all the time. I don't know what to say really. I don't like. I'm angry with the ref. I'm angry with the VAR. I'm I'm just gutted because we deserve to win that game. Yeah, and people are going to come out and say about Ben Johnson. I'm going to be straight and I say this. I couldn't believe he was coming on at midfield. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I was like, what the fuck he, is going on here? There was literally an angle of him coming on the pitch, and I'm pretty sure he was laughing to himself yeah. when he was asked where to play. Yeah. And and How he is... ended up he ended up being very positive in there. He was good. He How was is it a penalty? Sorry, I've just... How is that a penalty? What on by, the earth? by the law, I get why, but if if the if VAR truly looked back at it in and gave it it's a disgrace because McBurnley really or McBurney did really not get touched at all. Yeah. But still you can't really be coming out like that and not hitting the ball. But again, I'm just so sick of having to talk about these officials VAR because it's so shambolic. I can't reiterate enough why on earth we're the most entertaining best league in the world to watch. And we have some of the worst officials 
in the league. They are borderline. The only thing that's not stopping them from being AFCON bad is like blatant corruption. Like AFCON, that's like blatant corruption. It's been proven. Yeah. But the Premier League, it's an absolute shambles when it comes to the fishing. I'll tell you what, though. The referee in the goal in the game the other day was quality. <laughs> Okay, no, we weren't fucking good at here. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to put the link in the chat for anyone who wants to come on, right? Um, Alf, I'm going to ask you this, yeah? Obviously, people are going to look at Moyes today, right? Did you think Moyes got it spot on today? Because I don't think there's a lot he done wrong today, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't think he necessarily got it spot on because I thought we were rubbish, but he got the subs right, definitely. Um, I mean, Johnson for Sikorne, he got booed for it. And once again, it was a great sub. I'm sorry, I just, we should have put the game to bed. We've got ourselves to blame for that. We should have made it 3-1. Ings has to score. Bowen should score. We had so many chances at the end. And we were playing well, knocking it all about. Suddenly, with 10 men, they go to the other end. I just cannot believe they've managed to equalise. And it's all because of Michael Salisbury. I don't even know who he is, but he Salisbury. from Michael Yeovil. Michael Salisbury. Salisbury, yeah, whatever. Yeah. He don't deserve to be read out in, in full. Yeah. I'm just going to call him Mike. Mike's a disgrace. <laughs> I, I think... Mug, mug by Mike. Go on, Lucas. Don't, don't get me wrong. The result is is not great because even with the lineup we had, we we should be beating Sheffield. But I actually thought Moyes wasn't all too bad today. I thought the lineup he put out was as strong as he could. His, uh, his switch in match of... Swapping flanks with four nows and Cornet leads to a goal, which is good. And some people are saying, well, why why didn't it start off like that? Well, let, I'm going to – respectfully speaking, four nows hasn't been great, right? But Cornet has, has – <laughs> he has done nothing to really earn him playing in his favorable position, in my opinion. So, like, I'd rather put four nows in his – well, left mid isn't a strong position, but – He's better than Cornet there, but the in-game switch, it worked. Uh, the Ben Johnson sub, I I didn't know what was going on at first, but it ended up being quite a brilliant sub. Uh, I thought Ben Johnson was a bit, uh, I don't know how to describe it. He was a bit off at first, but then he settled in. He made great runs from the midfield as well. I actually have always thought Ben Johnson makes good runs, but with the yeah. ball, not so great. I but thought he was all right today. Like, I hope he come on. But it's good. I just I hope that's maybe a little bit of a resurrection for him because I, I thought he was positive. I know it's Sheffield United, but he looked positive when he came in there, and um, mm. it's just again, it's just unfortunate. It really is. Yeah, I know, mate. I hear you. All right, let's see what Matt's got to say. Matt, what do you want to say, man? Oh my goodness, Are you guys all right after after that disgraceful <laughs> officiating? Genuinely, I've I don't I can't remember the last time I've I'm been just this above upset. water this upset after a West Ham game. I mean, for starters, Hammer should have been sent off probably three times. Um, don't know how Sufal got that first yellow card. Very stupid for him to get sent off. He needs to learn how to keep his composure. Uh, never a penalty in a million years. We should have finished a lot of chances even before the whole red card situation. Uh, I don't know if who Sheffield United had lined up at center back today, if it was Randy Orton or Edge, but he, uh, Bowen was hit with a spear at the end there, and they just didn't call anything. I mean, some Balkan uh, bastard, Matt. It, it, genuinely, I, 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 I cannot believe what I've witnessed. I don't even think I'm angry at this point. I'm just bewildered. Yeah, and we've been so hard done by because there were po- uh, parts of that game where we didn't play the best. But genuinely, that was such a, a perf- team performance deserving of three points. It's just painful to be, have it robbed in such fashion. I agree. I'm I'm bewildered because I'll be honest. All my anger went out when a uh, a uh, Brewster put that absolutely fucking disgusting tackle on my boy. You know, if that the was referee absolutely disgusting, I was throwing all sorts Which... of fists. Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. He fucking got that wrong and all. If the referee didn't take five minutes with VAR to well, figure that decision out, the game would have been done. And that, they got the an extra thing. seven minutes because of that. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing about VAR as well. I I know is a thousand percent why the ref has done that because he needed VAR. Because if you you can't give him a straight red and then take it away, you have to give him a yellow and then you can upgrade it. And that's the issue. The ref should know all day long. His lino should be talking to him as well. The lino was right there. I know. 
I know. Uh, I must admit, the lot. I fucking totally agree with you on that. Because I was sitting there, I was thinking to myself, how can you not see that that's out of control and dangerous? It was right? disgusting. And then, and then you give a yellow card, right? And that's the thing. He shit himself on that. He got uh, like, and then he just goes and fucking sends off Sue Fell. There's no like. It, it, but Savelle was an idiot though, because he shouldn't be like if, if opening his trap and then fucking doing it, then doing a foul. He's asking for trouble, and then the penalty is just a fucking. What, penalty, what are you it? allowed to do with a referee anymore? You're not allowed to talk to him unless you're a captain. Even if you are a captain and you talk to him, you'll get carded at the referee's discretion. You you can't you can't huddle around a referee to listen to what they're saying because they find that intimidating. Like, I just, I don't get, I don't get it. These refs, these referees get no fucking punishment at all for the wrongdoings. They get sent down no, to the mate. championship for one match and then they're back up. They need to be shipped I, really to fucking hope. Russia. Just, just I really fucking hope it. James, I actually hope we don't get an apology tomorrow. I don't want an apology. It's pointless. I'd rather not have the apology. Oh, yes, with BGM agree. PGMOL have reviewed it, and it was a penalty yeah. on Boeing. Thanks. No, Why and then they're going to come. They're going to the they're going to go on the telly the next day with Mike Dean or some other piece of shit, and they're going <laughs> to defend the decisions like it wasn't wrong. And I've said this a million times: if if mm. if the standard wants to improve, you have got to start having officials and former referees like just calling out the obvious mistakes. Stop backing refs because you're a ref. That is like some cult bullshit that I don't know why they do it. It's as simple as it's right or wrong. There's rarely an in-between when it comes to a decision in football. I hope David Moyes absolutely rips the officials in the interview. We could start a GoFundMe to donate for what the fine he's going to receive for absolutely bashing the shambolic officiating. And like, when is it going to improve? Because this consistently happens every single time we're in a top six charge. We get shafted time after time after time. That is time. true. That is true. I remember this. I'm just hearing what you just saying. Now I'm just going to come in and sort of land on what I want to say. All right. I remember this back in final season at Bowling. It like it feels the same thing again. Like there was getting done by fucking decisions. It was getting done by offsides. Like now we've got we've been done today. Like the only issue is today is it's only one game. It's only one game. We we're, like, we're going to have the full fucking fire. And we didn't back. lose. And we didn't lose the game. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I thought the team done well today. In in regards to the circumstances, I thought the team done well. Yeah, but they're fucking idiots because they've. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because they should have. They had so many chances to put this side away, and they fucking just let them back in it every single time. Do you and know what annoys like, me though, James? Go. People now, I'm seeing it on Twitter. You're guaranteed to see it on YouTube later. So remember, I've said this. See you later. They that the people who know the referee and is bad will conveniently ignore it today just so they can uh criticize the manager. Yeah, but, yeah, but there's nothing to criticize Moyes about today. Well, I'm gonna say this, break it down quickly, and I'm gonna get Matt's final thought before because I've got someone else who wants to come on. Well, right, first things first, he went with the best team he had available, right? That was the best team. There was no one else, right? He brings on Ben Johnson that we all thought, what the fuck is he doing? He proves us wrong. Ben Johnson was actually right in midfield, right? Yeah. You've got to give him some credit there, right? He comes on, we go 2-1 up, rightfully so, because we was the better side. We was the better side, Barely. 100%, right? But we were still the better side, yeah, right? I agree. And then a moment of madness from Soufal decides to go and lose his fucking head, and then that decision at the end has just killed us. Like, West Ham, West Ham, I, <laughs> this will make you laugh, right? I had it all written out. I'd done all the edit. I was like, I've posted it everywhere where I was posted it, 2-1 West Ham, and then they go and do that to me. I thought, you Please, done to it. <laughs> never do that again. <laughs> Ever, I know, you know, I'm not. I'm not kidding. I was sitting on the sofa. I was watching the end. I seen the tweet come in. I said, I literally looked at my phone like this. <laughs> oh, mate, the fucking blame me tonight, people. Come at me. Come at the fat man. Come on, you know what I mean? Matt. What do you want to say? Uh, I finally, just, I just read go. something about uh, Chris Wilder's post match thoughts, and I, I want to read this out. I felt we had control of the game, and for Ben to get a goal, he will be an asset for us. Blah 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 blah. Here's where the, here's the worst part. David Moyes will say he had decisions go against him, but I don't think that should have been a red card for Brewster. Their keeper <laughs> makes an unbelievably rash decision to come out, and we get rewarded. <laughs> Fucking do Fuck one. Fucking <laughs> hell, mate. I'm real, Matt. 
Matt, uh, two questions for you. Quick fire. Uh, worst player for West Ham today? Pablo Fornells. Not probably one of his worst games in his shirt. Yeah, yeah. Best player for West Ham today? Danny Ings. Fair enough, mate. Matt, take it easy, man. All the Thanks. best to you, yeah? See you, Matt. Right, let's get this man in. Ryan, let's see what Ryan's got to say for himself. Uh, Ryan, how's hey, it going, how you man? Doing, boys? You all right? Good. Hope Wonderful, you're well. You all right? You good? Yeah. What are you saying, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm good or not, to be honest with you. I mean, like, on the grand scheme of things, Sheffield United, fair enough. that they 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 done well today. Let's be honest. they done well. But, like, the, the decisions at the end is just... It's it's ridiculous. Come on. Like, I mean, Ariola coming out for that, he hasn't even touched McBurney. He's got yeah, elbow. That's the Do you know what I mean? And then Bowen getting wrestled to the floor and VAR aren't looking at it. That that uh-huh. pisses me off more than anything, the fact that it didn't even go to VAR. And and it would make more sense because I do agree with the – well, I don't like all the, the hands-on tackling that does go on in the box. But no. to be fair, if you are looking at the ball and you're trying to shield someone off from getting a head on it, fair enough. But he wasn't even looking at the ball and he rugby tackled him. Exactly that. And like, everyone's saying, oh, yeah, but Bowen's grabbing onto him. But Bowen's looking at the ball constantly and trying to get away from him. It was just it, and, it was just embarrassing though today, Ryan. Like the, for me, the course. refereeing right, the refereeing decisions have killed us in the end. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I, I can I can say is that West Ham had so many chances today to put this side of, uh, away before like we, we went two one up. I think Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Go ahead. Absolutely. Go ahead, yeah, sorry, um, but it's just it's just even like in the first half, second half, was our passing. We just for some reason we can't pass the football. Mate, I was saying for some reason today we had the inability to not lay off the ball today. Like for some reason we would not lay off the ball today. I, in my opinion, if Bowen didn't just come back and he was a little bit sharper, I actually do think he lays that yeah. ball off to Cornet uh, in the uh, first I, half. I, totally agree with that. I don't but, know. I, I think he made the right decision. I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't think. I saw I'm, a lot of that. And I'm not but saying it, it's it, easy. I'm not saying it's an easy layoff, but. Bowen's quality, I think he is able to get that off the corner and he does spit it in the I, back I, I of the net. That, but do you think that's a, that's more he doesn't trust the players around him? It could be, and I wouldn't blame him at that point. No, yeah, of course, of course, because we, we, when we haven't got Paqueta, kudos, you know, we, we, we just don't look like a, a good enough team to be where we are. Yeah, and, and that's but, why that's – why... I see people bang on about, and I do agree about how shit our squad is. Our yeah, squad course. is so crap. Mm-hmm. I, 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 literally, I, I always said we have a good first eleven, but at the minute, even like two foul, he he's been all right, but recently, since that contract thing come out, yeah. he's been he's been rubbish. You know, so it's just like, I mean, Ben Johnson come on, and I I thought to myself, why is he playing centre mid, but. He held his own there. He done very well there. Yeah, and he he made very intricate passes. Well, he played really good. A little, he played some tiki taka stuff, which I really enjoyed, and he made so, uh, made so some uh, good runs. Do you sound funny? Yeah, I'm just getting like I've just put all my stuff out on so, so, social media and everything, and people are coming back and saying, "Bit fucking premature, James." I'm like, "For fuck's sake, don't wind me up." <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I was fucking like done it right at the death. I thought there's no way West Ham can fuck this up, but you know what? This team fucking never su- failed to surprise me. Uh, it, Ryan, yeah. what are you saying, man? Um, who's the worst player for you today for West Ham? The worst player. Uh, do you know what? It's probably four nails. Four nails for me. Yeah. I think there's a lot of yeah. toss ups today. Yeah, I, I think mean, he was I fucking mean, shit. Do you know what? I I, I slate Ings, but today he has shown that he's actually a really good player. Like, like just in today, like I don't mean he is like an amazing player that he's going to get us like top six or whatever. But today, he actually proved that he can hold his own. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually think today proved. I don't want to say a lot, but I think there was some positive signs in our play. Like, I think the fact mm. that we can put Danny Ings is a ten and Jared Bowen up front is a bit of a bright sign. I mean, obviously, we don't ever want to see that regularly, but. 
It's a, it's a little bright, and oh my goodness, that turn from Danny Ings to win the penalty, that the, the, was the insane. Thing, the thing with Danny Ings, though, is he, he always, like in his career, he's always had someone else with him. Yeah. Like when he's playing alone, he can't do a lot, you know? In credit to him, he was the only one laying the ball off today. The only Absolutely. one. And I think it was I think it was unfortunate he didn't I at least he have was, a goal today. I thought he was fucking brilliant. He had three that. he had three shots Hopefully, blocked yeah, today. Definitely. He had three shots blocked today. And looking at the trajectory of them, yeah. one of them should have at least gone in. But yeah, you know, definitely. No, I think I think that like his performance deserved the goal today. Definitely. It did. It did, it did, mate. I thought, yeah, as I say, I thought he was good, mate. Ryan, I'm going to let you go, mate. But thanks for coming on. I really do appreciate it. No worries. It, Have a good no one. Cheers, Ryan. Take, Thank you. Take care, man. Legend. That's been Ryan. Uh, <laughs> don't smash the gaff up. <laughs> What's that one? For fuck's sake. Um, right. Might well get into it, gentlemen. Player ratings time. Let's get into it and see fucking <laughs> what's going on. Uh, right. Did you? Oh, no, Here, no. I was, I was too busy watching the match. I'll do it real quick. I'll, it'll take two seconds. No worries. Let's uh, get a couple of comments then. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm so deflated now. Oh, on, I can't, you... no, honestly, I'm still seeing, but luckily there's a lot of people fighting back, to be fair. There's still idiots trying to blame Moyes. And if I dare see certain YouTube channels coming in on him later, I am stopping my kindness. <laughs> I am going to be release, releasing Ooh. official statements this time. Uh, listen, <laughs> There's no, what the fuck can Moyes do about the ref? <laughs> someone, someone probably said, "Oh, uh, probably Moyes paid the ref to fucking give a penalty." Oh fuck me! Man. I, I mm. think those Chris Wilder statements are absolutely disgusting. I am not. I am not going to sit here and have a go at David Moyes when he's got fucking the players that he's got at his, at his disposal. We go one nil up, one all, two one. The last few minutes, Chafel starts to act like like, like a fucking idiot. And then we give away a penalty, which isn't a penalty. Fucking, how can we sit here? I'll tell you know what, I, I thought West Ham would struggle today, right? But let's be, let's have it right, right? We should have won the game, and we deserve to win the game. They weren't the better side. What did the day control? Fucking only thing they control is fucking just, probably just, South I can't believe it. We've been robbed two points, James. As simple as that. We should be on thirty-seven right, points. They're done. At least we're on for, to be fair, 35 points in 21 games is quality, but we should be on 37. Just Listen, there's been games this year, and we've got to hold our hands up here and be honest before we come to these player ratings. That we there's games where we've got away with, i.e., Burnley away when we're one nil down, yeah. and we spin it around in two one. Uh, so right, it's not good. Is is as long as people Very acknowledge nice. the fact that we were really not at our best, but again, you've got to think about who we had to start today. And I I don't I'm not gonna hold any grudges towards people and like what they think about the match, mm. but like for me it's about a 75 25, like the officials, the referees, the linos. Terrible. You know, we, we always are, post a picture of his lip, by the way. <laughs> Mate, that's that's what I was saying in in live time. He was the one that ended up bleeding. Ha, like ha, you just have got to use your eyes, Mike. <laughs> John, I've got to do the player ratings, mate. Sorry, I got <laughs> fuck the player ratings, bro. You know what I mean? Johnny, stay Mack tuned. Stay tuned for the ref. You know I mean? Fuck the ref. That's what I'll say, mate. Not fuck the player ratings, even though they are a bunch of twats. Right, let's come to this man, Ariola. What are you saying for Ariola, uh, West Ham Online? Uh, is he at fault for the first goal? No, right. no, I don't think Incredible so. First day on that, though. He gave away a penalty, which wasn't a penalty anyway. Right, I'll just give him a six. Six, what are you saying, Lucas? Um, I actually thought Ariola was decent today. Um, again, I thought the penalty ends an absolute disgrace, but. It's kind of like it's kind of like the Sufal thing where if the goalkeeper is rushing out, he's about to punch the ball. He doesn't connect with it, but he does run into a player. You're not really putting yourself in the best position. And again, this is just my own opinion. It, it wasn't a penalty. I thought he was okay today. He actually made a few decent saves. The the one goal we can see, that was a great first save. Great first save. Disaster class by Zuma, who is not getting Enough slate that I've seen so far. He was a diabolical today. Um, 
Ariola, just a seven for me. I think he deserves it. Uh, right, I've just got to send that to him. Right, uh, I'm going to give him a high six. I think the first goal, I think he saves it, but I think he he pushes it back out. Right, I mean, other than that, he done pretty well. And let's be honest, the final thing, he gets a clump for it for his trouble. So you know, I just had like, someone messaged me saying about it's just one of them days. No, it's not. It's fucking bad ref. Right, let's get this man in. Uh, while I wait for him to appear. Right, he can come in the next one. Uh, Sue Fowl, West Ham Online, what are you saying? Rubbish. He was crap, but then again, it weren't a red card. Uh, four. Four out of ten. Fucking hell. Uh, Lucas? Um, He has not had a good run of form lately, and uh, it's, it's sad to see because he is one of my... My favorite players that have come to the club over the years, but um, man, he's just been so bad. I thought he was a little bit unlucky today. I thought he made some really good runs off the flank, and Bowen did not. And and I think Corne maybe once, but the ball should have gotten laid off to him a fair few times where he could have put in a cross on the ground or something backwards, and he just never got the ball. And he just wasn't good today. I'm gonna give him. And he did get sent off, which should never have happened. Absolute disgrace from the referee, who, by the way, should be shot. I'll say that multiple yeah. times tonight or today. Um, I'm going to give him a. He was. Uh, I'm going to give him a four. Um, I'll go next. Leave Kane till last. Um, he gets a four out of ten. What a fucking idiot! What a fucking idiot! You've just been booked, and then you go and give a foul away right in front of the referee to make him make a decision. And fair enough, there was Hamer in on in the first half, I think, or second half, on Bowen. I get that, but what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you know what I mean? You're just allowing yourself just to get emotionally involved, and that's what it is. And what Ben said there, spot on, absolute spot on. Poor discipline, straight away. But like, why? Why are you doing that to us? Do you know what I mean? I'm going to say this about uh, Vladimir Sufal. Been a great servant to West Ham. Been he's done his time at West Ham. He's been very, very good. We need an upgraded right back. Yeah, because. He has one good game. People rave about him like he's back, but he's not back. He's still the fucking same at the end of the day. So he's, he's going to get a four out of ten for me. Uh, Kane, what are you saying for for Sufal? Sufal, he's in. I hope you. I hope you. I say, I hope you're good, lads. Uh, probably not. Um, Sufal is a bit of a, a bit of a bad run and he's stinking run at the moment. I thought he was about a four out of ten. Uh, yeah, I, so, I sort of agree with you. Yes, the first yellow. What was that all about? Um, but yeah, no. Calm your head a bit, mate. But yeah, no, four out of ten. Uh, I'm hoping it's just a bad run. And he sort of fixes himself up a bit because he, he is a good player. But then again, I do agree. It's probably our most upgradable position. Yeah. What about yeah. Ariola? Give us your quick thoughts on that. Ariola, I thought he was really good today. Um, didn't do nothing wrong. Got right. violently assaulted uh, for the for the penalty. They didn't uh, look at that he... though. They don't look at the man on the ground bleeding. Oh no! No one makes him bleed <laughs> his own blood. I was so convinced they weren't going to give it, to be honest with you. Um, but there you go. I'll give Ariola what, a 7-8? Yeah, I thought it was good. Fair enough, Kane. Fair enough. We move on to Mavropanos. And that is West Ham Online. What are you saying about oh, him? He was crap, too. He uh, just ain't that good. I'm sorry, he really isn't. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if people are going to criticize Stardom for him there. Fuck Mate, me, you want to talk about people with Sue Fowl? <laughs> this man will have one good game and people are wanking over him. I, I like Mavropanos, and I like the profile. I've been there. Trust me, I, I've done that. I like my I like all the players we have at West Ham on a personal yeah. level, and then to a degree. But mate, this this mate. is the key guy. One good game, wank fest. I know, mate, and I am. I'm yeah. I'm I'm guilty. Guilty yeah. as charged. He, he's Ham, just mate. he's passing. I thought it was going to be a bit better. To be honest, it's erratic. Um. I don't like him and Zuma as a partnership, but then again, I think Agued struggles as well. You know what? Zuma started the season well, but apart from that, I think our centre backs have let us down a bit this season. Um, I, I agree on this. I'm going to yeah. give him a four as well. Um, I'll go next. I'll give him a five. I just thought it was standard performance from him. Yeah, as one good game, <laughs> I'm guilty of it. You know what I mean? Pleasure in Mavropanos. <laughs> On the other side of things, sometimes I just think he's just brain dead. Like stupid passes. Like he done a pass in the first half, I think, straight into the after no one. And it's like you're just not even looking. You're not even looking around. That's like that's just... the thing. That's the thing for me. Like if if you see someone making a run and they just 
they miss hit it. Yeah, it goes over them. Like I, I can say, you know what? Fair play. You try, you tried to make the pass. You saw him make the run. You tried to make the pass, but he was playing passes today, where Did I, I, he he might as well just kicked it out of bounds and <laughs> just given it to Sheffield United to throw in. I know, I know what you're saying. I absolutely agree. Like if he's passing it to someone and making an attempt to pass it to him, I get that. Fucking hell, he was just shit. Um, he's getting a five. Kane, what are you saying? Maripanos, Bundesliga centre back. Uh, development signing. So anyone writing a guy off, just I think he's remember he's just a backup development signing. But yeah, no, he's pretty bad, isn't he? Um, I'll give him a low five. Low five, Lucas. Um, I'm gonna give him a four. I just didn't think he was great today, and and like I said, it's mostly a four because his passing today, there was no conviction behind it at all. I don't know where his head was at, but um. Again, he does the usual well. He's good in the air, heads balls away, but like the intermediate game today, he just non existent. He was poor. Yeah, I agree, mate. As me lights go out on this gaff. Right. Uh, let's come to this man, Kurt Zuma. Lucas, take it away. Hall of Shame performance today. I think Alfie said that. Alfie, did you yeah. say that on Twitter? Yeah. Probably. That. Was an absolute disgrace today, and that thing. That's Alfie, you right there, son. Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, please don't fucking scream it, mate. You, you, we, you will know what Alfie. Have it, have it that a quarter of his face, people. Um, <laughs> mate, Alfie, that's it. Yeah, you had about a frame there. Hunted, you're getting <laughs> hunted down by the boys at uh, but, army, mate. They're, they're coming for you. Go on. Let he was see. just crap today, and it is disappointing to see. And I'm sick. It, it does worry me. Every time he goes down, it looks like he died. It looks like he's about to get his knee chopped off, and he's going to be a paraplegic or something. Yeah. And again, it's the same. It's the same with Maverick He was good in the air, except actually, no, I can't even say that. Because the first goal was an absolute disgrace from him. And Corne as well, the domino effect for that. I, I do love a domino effect. But um, Zuma, absolutely crap. Um, hmm. I actually do think he was worse than Mavropanis today. I cannot lie. But yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to give him a three. I thought he was absolutely shit. Mm, I'm going to go next. Uh, I'll give him a three out of ten. And this geezer's captain, I don't know. I don't know. We've got no one else. Real, well, no. actually, me, me and Kane know who should yeah. be captain. Well, whatever it is, he shouldn't be captain. Um, he's always one sort of lunge away from an injury. He's like I remember in the first half, as the ball comes in, it's no danger whatsoever. He edits it out for for a corner, and like, people look at him and go, "What the fuck are you doing?" Sort and Ariel was time. blatantly and obviously yeah. yelling. Even 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 used some hand yeah. signals. Yeah, using hand signals, everything, mate. Um, and I agree in that comment in there. Alvarez should be captain. Fucking absolutely. Uh, I will give him, give him a free. Yeah, I like that, Michael. Him. Give Emerson the armband. Love that. Yeah, shout out to him, mate. Uh, Kane, what are you saying? Uh, watching that guy run, it's like he runs in fucking slow motion. The, the, we've destroyed that guy's knee, for God's sake. I don't know if it's karma for kicking that cat, but it's probably deserved. He was so bad. But what I will say is, uh, up until recently, he's been really good for us, really consistent. So I'm hoping it, he can sort himself out. But yeah, he was terrible. Yeah, I agree, mate. I agree. Oh, uh, two uh, out of ten. Two. Fuck me. You're, you're harsh. He was true. fucking awful. He was bad. I don't know. Uh, Western Online. What is true that? Hammer, true ratings. You heard it. Um, I thought he was shocking. Terrible. Yeah, really bad. Honestly, I thought he was absolutely shocking. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. He's terrible. Give me a number. Two. Just give a fucking Two. number. Fucking hell, mate. Hey, wait. Ain't got all on that. Fucking hell. Two out of ten. Fair enough. Right, Alf. Go start for Emerson. Five weren't his best game. Uh, yeah, he won his best game. Lucas, a uh, bit of a ghost today. Really didn't do a lot. Um, wasn't bad. Wasn't great. Just really didn't do much. I'll give him a five. Um, 
I'm going to give him a high five. I know you keep saying he's a ghost and all that, but when Ben Johnson came on, he was getting further forward. He was trying to make things happen. Don't help when you've got four nails over that side, but that's a different fucking scenario altogether. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm going to give him, yeah, a high five. I thought he was. I thought he was. He was okay. Do you know what I mean? He, he gets neat. He gets cleaned out, which ain't. It, well, it's, which isn't right. But you know, it is what it is. Um, Kane, what are you saying? I, I agree with James. I thought the bloke was pretty bad in the first half, but much better when um, Johnson came on. I'm going to give him yeah high five, low six. Wasn't his best game. First half bad. Second half uh, try to make stuff happen. Yeah, yeah, I actually agree. Comes this man, Thomas Suchek. Kane, take it away. I thought Suchet had a um, pretty important roles there. I thought he was winning a lot of the balls in the box. They were crossing the ball a lot in, and they were big old threat from there. Um, he gets a he gets a high five, low six. I thought he did some good things for us. Uh, Lucas, um, I've seen some tweets today about Suchek, and I don't know why people even like waste their breath. They know the role. They know the role he had to play today, and we all know that's not his best role. I get that, but like, we know he's not technically sound. But he had he had to play there today, and I don't know. I think people really disrespect Suchek for for no reason. But um, he was he was okay today. Again, mm. I don't like him in the role that he had to play today. I don't think anyone does so much better forward as another midfielder or sometimes a ten. Um, but I agree with Kane. I thought he won the ball back a decent amount today. But I I don't know if that was because Sheffield were kind of shit or yeah. they were just really good interceptions and duels won. But I'm going to give him a five. Um, I'll go next. I'm giving him a high four. He ain't getting a five for me. I thought first half he was a passenger massively. And when people keep saying about, oh, we can't we can't get Phillips in this side because it's a loan deal. It's all money and all that. How about fuck off? How about that? Right, They're chatting he's... absolute shit if they don't want Calvin Phillips at this club, and I can't, right. I can't stand hearing, oh, he won't he won't beat out Alvarez. Why would he come if he's just cover for Alvarez, mate? Don't get me wrong, Edson Alvarez has proven me wrong to a point, but mate, Calvin Phillips, you can't you can't say can't say no to that. He would literally. We need, we need Calvin Phillips in this side for composure, Add. passing, yeah, and Suchet just doesn't give it today. Yeah, he's a warrior. He gets stuck in, but that's all he does, right? He does fuck all else, right? And what someone just said there, Phillips can actually play football, which is spot on. Like that comment, you probably commented at the night. Phillips can actually play football. Fucking so fucking true. Uh, he gets a high four. Uh, West Ham online. Uh, he, his box defending was really good, Agreed. but on the ball he was poor. So. Um, Every time the ball went in the box, he cleared it well. He was good defensively, but... Yeah. Six. Like, with Thomas Suchek today, the role he was playing and getting mad at him, that's yeah. like having... Like, we need Areola to play striker, and he puts in an absolute disaster. Goes, oh, Areola's shit. Like, well, yeah, he's a fucking goalkeeper playing striker. Come, let's come to this, man. There's only one place to start. That is with Kane. Kane, what are you saying? That's actually disrespectful. <laughs> I, I thought he was all right today. I, I imagine I go on Twitter and see people complaining about it. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I don't like him with double pivot. I think he gets a bit beaten easy. I think Moyes will fix that as well. But I thought he was all right. I thought he was linked to play really well. Um, you know, doing doing the business. Good pen as well. I mean, imagine if it was a Ward Prowse win. I imagine how arrogant I'd be right now. Bloody ref. Oh, we would be running absolute riot on the Twitter sphere. Uh, what were you going to give him, Kane? I'm going to give him a seven. Oh, I don't think it's a seven. But I'll go next. I'm going to give him a just a six for me. I thought he had. A, I thought he done bits well. The pen is a good pen, but it's just when you look at that midfield, they was bypassing that midfield so many times. He was well, obviously when you got Suchek next year, ain't good. But yeah, I'll probably give him just the six that's, for me. That's what just. I keep trying to to tell people. They just don't seem to understand it. I don't know why. Mm. Lucas um, I thought he was alright today I actually thought his corners uh, were solid again like all, all he all he can really do is put it on top of someone's head and he, he does routinely do that um, he was part of the goal we conceded not really his 
he picked up a yellow. It really wasn't his fault because Maxwell Corne doesn't know how to play football, really. He can't dribble anymore, and he stumbles with the ball at his feet, gives it away. War Prowse has to challenge in for a yellow, which I don't understand how that was a yellow either um, with some of the other stuff I've seen today. But, again, he, he was all right. He's not at his best in a double pivot. The only, the only way he is ever going to be good in a double pivot is if he has someone who is technically good next to him, a technical – DM someone like Calvin Phillips. That's the only way yeah. that we're going to move forward with that style of play, unless we have a whole summer to work on it. But um, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him just just a six. Just a six. Uh, Alf. Um, could have got to the ball quicker for the first goal. I, th- I thought he was poor, to be honest, mate, uh, in the first half. In the second half, I thought he improved slightly. Yeah. Um, scored the penalty as well. So, I'm going to give him the same as Suchek, a six. Six out of ten. We're the, goal sa- the goal saves it for me a bit, to be honest. Yeah, right. Let's come to this, man. That is Pablo, I can't pass, I'm done, four nails. There is it. Emotional damage. Emotion. Fucking emotional damage on this geezer, mate. Alf, tell me now about him. He was crap. <laughs> <laughs> he was shocking, but um, yeah, I don't know what to say about him. He was really poor. He gets a four, especially in the first half. I think he made eight out of 18 passes, so four yeah. for me. Eight out of 18 passes, fuck me. Um, I'm giving him a three. I thought it was crap, mate. I don't know Harry. I don't know Harry blagged it for so long. Right, like, Harry's blagged this. Like, I agree with what Michael says in the chat, and even Brian to a point. Yeah, that is probably another comment. And not that four nails too. Passing was awful the whole game. Um, he needs to go. He needs to go. He's just not good enough, and he's he's done at West Ham for me. Um, yeah, I'll give him a three. Be kind, uh, Lucas. Yeah, really bad today. Um, I. It was, it was, it's a bit of a shame because I actually thought he was all right defensively and he, he won a fair amount of duels, but as soon as he won it back, he just could not make the initial pass to start a break or be an important part of it. So, uh, for that, he gets, I'm, I'm going to give him a four. Four out of 10. Kane. Three out of 10. Uh, tragic guy. Uh, he's lost his first touch completely. Uh, he's playing like he's got like Doc Martens on. He was awful. Yeah, it was my. You know, that's a good was. poll. That's a good question for the chat. Would you rather play football in Doc? Oh, let's go Doc Martin boots, not like the dress shoes that some people wear, or skinny jeans. <laughs> Fuck it, he was in both. I always say that. Well, let's have this man, Maxwell Corney, scored a goal today. Wow. Kane, I'll let you go first as you're the guest. It only what took 28 saying? appearances. 28 fucking appearances. Yeah, go on, Kane. What are you saying? Mate, that, that goal. I still can't mask how bad that guy was. Uh, it, honestly, he was right. awful. He was so bad. Uh, I'm he happy for him to get a goal. Terrible. Jesus Christ. This guy has lost. Like, I feel sorry for him because obviously that injury has ruined him. Space he can't even ass, run. Bro. Space Jam ass. Uh, Honestly, so bad. We're never going to sell that guy. Who's going to buy him? He went past the medical. He's, it, oh, it's oh, it's the one out of ten rating of the year, in my opinion. Yeah, it was it was that bad. Go on, Sorry, can I cut you off? What'd you say? Uh, that's all right. I gave the guy a one out of ten. I'm not even joking. <laughs> it was that bad. He was bad. Yeah. What are you saying, Lucas? Oh man, I'm not. I'm not kidding. This is the toughest rating of the year because you, Alfie, and Mitch know that. I do hold goal contributions very high into someone's rating, but like like Kane said, I don't know if I can mask this rating because he scored. Because he was absolutely crap. He, he was, was bad. so bad. And but he did the same thing as last week, right? I actually think inside the box, Maxwell Cornet has a good IQ and he makes good runs inside the box. But he, the the guy has lost all of his ability, Space Jam, like. All the all his powers and skills and ability have just been taken away from him because of that disgusting injury or whatever sort of diagnosis he had, whatever that rare thing was. But oh mate, 
because he scored, I'm going to give him a four. If he didn't score, he'd get a one. Yeah, we'll do, mate. I must admit. Uh, Alf, what are you saying? Terrible. Um, we For most of the game, we were with 10 players because he's offside all the time. <sighs> I've, I don't know. I've got no real words. I, the goal was very good. Great finish. And that's what he can do. He can actually strike for a ball reasonably well. But apart from that, I thought he was quite poor. So he's going to get a six just for the goal for me. Oh, roll reversal today with me and Alf. Yeah. Uh, I'm giving him a, oh, fuck me, a three. Three out of ten. The goal's a good goal, don't get me wrong. But after that, what did he do? The amount of times he was caught offside, fucking stupid. And he is slow, slow. Danny Ing slow, Cornet is right now. That is slow. Bad. Right? Yeah. And he, not he's got the pace. He's got everything about him. But it's just fucking hell. He's just... He's a broken he's so man. Sad. He's a broken. He's man. got no pace, James. He can't. He can't run. I can run faster than him. Well, that's all gone. Fucking hell! Nor do I, mate. But I just he can run just... faster with a dog in his arms. That's... Exactly. <laughs> Kane can run faster on the pitch. We all know what pitch. He yeah, to be fair, he did, he did show that a couple of seasons ago. <laughs> yeah, but we, we we don't mention that anymore. We don't mention that. Three out, three out of fucking ten. Let's go to this man, Daniel Wings, uh, Lucas. First off, I want to be the first to just. That was the best I've ever seen of Danny Ings. I think that's the best we will ever see. He is such a little dancer in the box, isn't he? That pen that he won, that turn, I was shocked. I was shook. I can't believe I seen that from him. I celebrated like that, yeah. like it was a goal. What he'd done, and um. Besides his long his, his long range passing today, I thought he was superb. I thought yeah. he laid the ball off a good amount. Unlucky not to score. He should have had at least a goal today, in my opinion. But like Alfie said, he he just takes way too many touches sometimes for for absolutely no reason. But he linked up play well. I thought he was superb defensively in the ten as well. Kept the shape well, which uh, I feel like some people might not. Mention or recognize, but uh, Danny Ings, man of the match for me, he gets an eight out of ten. Elf, great. Uh, he was he was the best player on the pitch. I agree, eight, eight out of ten. His footwork was fantastic. Uh, yeah, he should have scored. As I said, he takes too long to shoot at the moment. But eight out of ten. I I agree. He's getting eight out of ten for me. I thought I thought um, he put in effort. He was running everywhere. He should have scored today. Harry, Harry didn't. Um, Harry didn't score today. I don't know, but he had a good shot. He wants the penalty. He was fucking brilliant for us today. Really, 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 really good. Yeah, and he and like I said, other people to shame. He was the only one laying the ball off today. I just, I, yeah. I didn't understand why we were not doing this, the small, simple things like that. And you know when people say, "Oh, these players come in and they haven't had game time," and they blame it on Moyes. Sometimes you have got to look at the players. You have got to look at the player and say, "Is this player ready? And, like, and, is this player ready to play?" And not this isn't some Moyes parade on or whatever. But credit to Moyes as well for playing him in the ten because yeah. people like like I told you earlier, people like oh Cornet and Fournau should have should have been swapped respectively at the beginning of the match. Like, mate, if that was the case, Fournau should be in the ten. Cornet should sure, be on the left. Right. That would leave Dan Hings out wide. So respect, respect to Moyes for playing him as a ten today because he looked different mustard, even though it was yeah. Sheffield United. Yeah, he gets an eight for me. Kane, what are you saying? Uh, he was unbelievable. I thought Danny Ings. I agree with West Ham online. There's a couple of moments he could have he could have scored. Took too long, but other than that, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Best player on the pitch. Uh, did that ten roll so well, and. I'm quite happy because him and Ben Johnson sort of give a bit of uh, faith. Don't write all these players off. You know, they're, they're still there. They're still about. Um, and he gets an eight, a high eight for me. I thought he was really good. He deserved to win that game. Danny Ings nope. promoted his his skinny jeans to khaki trousers today. Yeah, I agree, mate. I agree. Um, Luke, Lucas, what are you saying for the Ings? I gave him an eight out of ten, my man of the match. Eight out of ten for you. Right, it comes this man. Jared Bowen. Uh, I'll go first. Not his day today. Not his day, but it, it, he's only just come back, so he ain't going to have like, an amazing game when he just comes back. I think the first half, I think he should lay the pass into Corne. 
I really do. Even though Cornet wasn't all that, I think the, the, he's tried to go for goal. And I think if you if he's if he plays more, Bowen, he lays that in. He lays it into that's like, one of those. Or anywhere. That's one of those half like how you look at a, a half glass of water, half yeah. full or half empty. Yeah, and it was just that. Second half, he should have won a penalty. He didn't get the penalty, but we get to the VAR and referee later on in, in the show. But um, I'll give him a, I'll give him just a six for me. I thought he was a trier. Um, that's about it. Kane, what are you saying? Um, yeah, Bowen. Uh, yeah, I agree. That a couple of moments like that, that uh, corner one, he could have probably gone the other side and laid corner off. I thought. I, I did think he had a really hard roll up there. I felt he, he did quite well winning the ball, hold on to the ball, uh, playing it off and stuff like that. Uh, but I agree, it's not like a vintage Bowen performance. Um, but it wasn't like he was terrible. I'll give him a, I'll give him a high six. Uh, Alf, what are you saying? Uh, yeah, six. He probably he could have had a go. I think on another day he would have finished one of those half chances. Mm-hmm. didn't do didn't think he was terrible by any means and worked hard but I didn't think he was great so yeah average performance six uh yeah uh Lucas what you said yeah full house um I agree with all of you uh six for me I actually if he if he didn't just come back today and he played a match previous and was sharper I do think he skulls or assists today especially the one with Cornet. like like I said, I I don't think it was necessarily the easiest layoff of all time, but if Bone was, was sharper, I, I think he has the quality to do that. But I thought he linked up with Danny Ingswell. Um, he tried, and like y'all said, on another day, if he's a bit sharper, he probably scores. Um, I'm going to give him a six. Right, let's come to the subs. We're going to go Ben Johnson. Um, I thought Ben done well when he come on, so I'm gonna give him. I give him a high six. I thought he done all right. Lucas, give me a number. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in between a, a strong six and a seven. Um, I <laughs> let's be honest, it was so funny today when he came on the pitch because he was literally laughing to himself, telling everyone like, I know. "Yeah, I'm about to be in the midfield. Like, we're not playing a back five. I'm gonna be one of the midfielders." And um, after his first touch. Um, I thought he he was very positive. I I said it yeah. before in the afterthought before this. I I've always thought Ben Johnson was a very good runner. Like he's good at running into open space. He can run down the flank, but with the ball at his feet is where it really kills him in the fullback position, in my opinion. But I do think Ben Johnson has a good football IQ. I still think he's a good one on one defender. But I'm hoping what happened today might be a new spark, a new a new positive twist on his role at West Ham, even though we already have an abundance of midfielders right now. I mean, it could be a sign of light for him. Hopefully I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a strong six, but if someone gave him a seven, I wouldn't, I wouldn't debate it. Okay. Uh, I felt like he, he changed the game. I thought he'd come on changing. I thought before he come on, I thought Sheffield and I would get on top of us. Um, and in reality, we should have won that game. We all, I think we all agree that the ref kind of mugged us off. I think you'd be getting a lot more plaudits for changing the game, uh, moving the ball really well, and it really impressed me. Seeing Ben Johnson play well just puts a smile on my face. I'm giving him a 7 out of 10 for it. Online? Uh, yeah, I thought he was certainly changed the game. We seemed to control the game a lot better when he came on. I thought he was our best midfielder when he came on. Uh, passed it well, moved it well. Yeah, solid, solid seven, at, high seven for me. High, high seven out of ten for you. Uh, Fabianski comes on, doesn't do a lot, but he just picked four. He get, it, you know what? Oh, credit to him, he guessed the right way. He's he actually probably right. a little unlucky not to save it. Does anyone yeah. think if he played the whole game, he would have saved that because he went the right way, but he just wasn't quite there? Or am I just being a weirdo? Is it a good thing? <laughs> Maybe it's maybe. a good argument. It's a good Superstitious argument. weirdo. Yeah. yeah, let's come to this man who's a fucking absolute rat. Um, the referee, um, Lucas. Go on. <laughs> Keep going. Well, I'm not going to list every single thing he did wrong today, but um, an absolute disgrace. Uh, this was this was football terrorism at its finest, in my opinion. Um, in, in the great the greatest league the world has ever seen. 
you would think would have some competent or at least consistent officiating. But to take a quote out of Alf's book, consistently shit, consistently crap. That's exactly what it is today. The only decision he got right, in my opinion, was uh, the Emerson red card or the Brewster red card. Sorry. Uh, Absolutely disgusting tackle from behind both feet in the air stud up right into his achilles um but yeah i'm gonna give the ref oh, mate i can't even, this this is beyond negative what happened today this is like I, I want him sent to a gulag in russia or like <laughs> azerbaijan something like that and he needs to be shot he needs to be shot i don't care and, ju- and just like salisbury maryland michael salisbury yeah. do one I'm gonna say this. Uh, okay. I'm gonna say this. Literally, if my I rating speak, out of ten, shot. Mate, if if I speak, mate, I won't ever come back to YouTube again because I'm that fuming with this geezer. Um, first things first. Yeah, he gets our penalty right, so I'll give him some credit there. It's a blatant penalty. He gets it right. The Bruce the yellow card. He get he fucks up. He ends up being a red card because he was just shit. The penalty at the end is beyond words. Like we're all sitting there, like it's it's embarrassing. Um, ah, uh, Mark, is it uh, uh, is it Hamer? Harry was still on. Yeah. The I think it's pronounced Armor. And by the way, um, I hate last names like that. I heard about yeah. ten different pronunciations today. I know, mate. I know, right? That's coming from fucking me. But it, Harry's Harry's still on the pitch. I don't know. Um, there was tackles going in. There was actually a, a, a tackle on Suchek in the second half where West Ham win the ball. Suchek gets fouled. Ben Johnson's got the ball and we're advancing up the pitch and he brings the, brings the play back. This brings the play back. And I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, mate, you're just trying to mug us completely off. We've had two shit refs in the, in the space of five days, right? It's just not good enough. The referee's fucking atrocious, mate. I'm not going to lie. He's just an absolute fucking cunt. I'll oh, fuck you, I'll say it. He's just a cunt. <laughs> Yeah, man, fuck it. I, just, I might as well. Fuck it. We're going to get people advised. It is what it is. He's a fucking complete wanker, mate. And he deserves to be shot, hung, fucking anything, mate. What? what? I'm not being funny. It's the best league on the planet. And we've got people who can't do the job. Just can't do the job. It's just common fucking sense. Like, even the foul at the end, right, on Bowen is a complete blatant rugby tackle type foul. Yeah, the defender's not looking at the ball. He's he's got a hold of the man. He's dragging him down to the floor. What's he got to do? What's and I don't do? I don't care what people say. It, it may sound crazy, but to me, Kane with the superstitions, I think that's absolute corruption. That it doesn't go to VAR yeah. at all. That is a disgrace. Mm. If it if yeah. it went to VAR, I would have at least said fair play. They looked at it, right or wrong, if they given it or not. But it didn't even go to VAR. Yeah, it didn't. No, that's it didn't. corrupt. Yeah. And it's just, and this is the fear I do have with West Ham, yeah? I think we, I think this ain't going to be the first time we're talking about referees uh, from now to the end of the season. It's been a disgrace be a all more. season, whether if you've just watched West Ham, you only support West Ham. I, I've watched so much Premier League football this season. The officiating is disgraceful. It is nowhere near a yeah. plausible standard at all. I have seen MLS matches officiated and maintained a thousand times better than the crap that I've seen this year in the Prem. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, Kane, what are you saying? I, honestly, to sum it up, I could go on the pitch, lay a fat turd, <laughs> give that turd a whistle, and it'd be a better ref than that fucking guy. Awful guy. Uh, I hope uh, you fall down the stairs. I hope you're toasted third in the morning. I hope someone slashes your tires. Shocking. Minus a million, trillion, gazillion out of ten. <laughs> Fuck off. I think that I think that equals to what I said. I hope he gets shot. I've got to get to this question here, yeah? Lucas, is the official worse in the Premier League or the NF- NFL? Mate, well, this would be... Judging by Lucas's tweets when the NFL is on, it's going to be tight. It, <laughs> mate, we would be here for another four hours. Well, both, both leagues. Absolute corruption. Fair enough, mate. Uh, West Ham Online, what are you saying? About the referees, though. Shocking. I said it earlier in the stream anyway, but it horrendous. He couldn't have been any worse. I mean, I thought... It, I, I just... <sighs> awful. Mate, it's baffling. It's baffling. I feel, I feel emotional about it, James. Let's put it that way. It's emotional damage for me. <laughs> I've just got your watts out. I'm going to have to look into it, Alf. Um, right. Um, yeah. Referee. Fucking staying. Fucking... Uh, I need something to take the edge off. I need a split. Mate... I, 
Talk about, I'm trying to do dry January, mate, and I, I think the whiskey might get in tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 21 days in, mate, West Ham want to turn me to alcohol, but we're going to come to this man, David Moyes. Final rating of the evening, gentlemen. What are we saying about David Moyes? Alfred, start. Weren't perfect, because obviously they, Sheffield United, it was a very even game, let's put it that way. But I thought once he made the tactical change, which changed the game, we could have gone... <laughs> 3-1 up. Yeah. Um, I think the change for Johnson was very good. And, yeah, so I think he got that right. The, the initial setup wasn't perfect, as I've just said. Um, but he made the right changes. He deserved to win the game because of that. And we were... The referee cost us. So he's going to get a six from me. Um, don't think Moy's done a lot wrong today, if I'm being truthfully honest here. Yeah. And if I sit here and go, what, what did he really do wrong? He, the circumstances, he had to play them players because there was no one else. He brings Ben Johnson on and probably every West Ham fan in the ground and around the world was going, what the fuck are you doing, boys? Like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> What's all this about? But actually, it actually worked. It actually worked. Ben Johnson in midfield was pretty decent. He, he picked the ball up. He carried the ball well. He looked... He, he reminded me a bit like Deck, picking the ball up and just carrying it and getting us out of danger sort of thing, yeah? Mm. And then he, he ran in open space, like the most. Yeah, he ran in open space. It, it, it was a good sub to make. Um, I think the yellow car for Sufal. What can he? Moyes, Moyes ain't to blame for that because Sufal's a fucking idiot. I think Moyes is not to blame for the referee today because the referee cost us the game in the end, right? So I'm actually going to give Moyes a high six. I thought he'd done all right. I thought he'd done okay with what it was at his disposal. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe he should have took four nails off. Maybe. Yeah, that's maybe the little gripe I've got. But who else is there to come on and play? Yeah, for, for who? So it's, it's exactly that. When people say about, oh, oh Phillips is going to cost too much money and we can't really pay seven million, fucking have a day off. Fuck me. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't your fucking money, is it? It's the club's money. And like, yeah. let's, let's just get the geezer in. Unless that 31 million pound fee is going to put us yeah. into financial disaster, I do not care what it takes to get Calvin Phillips at this football club. I, I totally agree, mate. I really do. Um, so, yeah, high six. Kane, what are you saying? I mean, let's look at the players available. What the hell did you have to work with? Don't. Um, I, I know. And, and let's, let's look at a couple of big, big things he'd done. Danny Ings in a 10. That was a great decision, I thought. Uh, decision, uh, you know, really good decision from him. Uh, yeah, the game was even. I think a lot of that's due to the personnel available. Um, and then the... Johnson sub for midfield. I think that's a bit of a genius sub as well. That's really good. He definitely deserved to win. So the players, uh, given the circumstances he had, the players available and the ref, uh, there's not much he could have else he done really. He gets a, a seven. You've gone for seven. I've gone for a high six. Um, Lucas, what you say? Kane beat me to the punch. Um, I agree with him. I'm going to give Moyes a seven. And again, I'm not. I'm not trying to make this some moist parade or anything like that, but I really can't think of anything he'd done wrong today. He'd done way more right than wrong for me today. Um, the Ben Johnson sub, again, he was booed for it, and egg on people's faces for that who booed. Um, playing Danny Ings in the 10 was a master stroke, in my opinion, and that proved today. Um, he swapped Cornet in four nows in like the first thir- – around like the 26th, to the 30th mm-hmm. minute mark and we scored as soon as we we changed to that so credit to him even if people think that it should have been that way to start off the match it's whatever debatable but um and again he played the absolute strongest 11 he could today we had no options on the bench i don't care how bad fornals was today if you'd rather have seen Callum marshall play today over pablo fornals get a life <laughs> Respectfully, sorry, I really don't mean that as a personal shot, but 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 one thing I will say is that a fuck his four nails on the pitch for so long. Like, but then, but then again, I I agree, but like for who? Like maybe maybe you can take Emerson, put him on the wing, drop Johnson to left back, but I mm. I, I I don't know. I'm not I'm not a manager. Yeah. I I don't think today. I don't think today's game is on David Moyes. I, I don't I'm think so either. Him. And we've already talked about the ref. I'm not going more into him. And yeah. um, so I'm going to give Moyes a seven. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to be straight here when I say this, yeah. Um, 
today's today's game, today's result is not on David Moyes. I think there's other circumstances. Like we go two one up. I think that when I do sit here and think about, it, I think the Ben Johnson sub is a fucking stroke of class, really, because I didn't see that one coming. Even though Ben's played midfield before, he's only, he's only ever played there once. And even Ben, when he come on, was like smiling and thinking, "Fuck me, what am I doing here in midfield?" But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he thought Moyes was saying. having a laugh. He was like, I literally, he was literally smiling like a fucking good and guy. And like, he ended oh. up almost being the reason why we won. Yeah, but you know, it is what it is. But um, right, that's Dame being David Moyes. Lads, any final thoughts? West Ham online, go. Um, devastated to not get the extra two points. You made the point earlier, which was fair, about we've been lucky in a couple of other games this season. But I think that luck was when we made our own luck. I think today was genuine, just pure refereeing uh, mistakes. Or well, no, what well, refereeing errors, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, it, it, it hurts to see. I thought it was disgusting the refereeing today. Mm. Uh, Kane, what are you saying? I was absolutely frightfully fuming after the game. It took me a long walk home from the pub. Um, but my final thoughts is seeing Lucas' smile has, has made me happy. Uh, and uh, anytime you're angry, just look at Lucas' smile. That's the best cure for anything. Come on, you irons. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that's the case because I was absolutely furred last night. Uh, fair, fair enough. Um, Lucas, what do you want to say, mate? Um, to reciprocate the energy, I love having my uh, my co-president of the James War Prowse fan club with me <laughs> right now. Um, every time I see the big letter K with an orange background on here, it does give me butterflies and a good smile on my face. Um, yeah, really, all I have to say is Michael Salisbury, do one. I hope he gets sent to Russia and just lives in a gulag for the rest of his life. Yeah, and get shot. Fair enough. <laughs> we don't condone violence on this channel. D- to shoot. Yeah, you don't know what I want um, to shot with. Just <laughs> you can you can leave that open to your mind. Yeah. Um. My final thought is this: it's two points dropped today, massively. But I'm proud of the team today. They give it everything. Uh, they, they they should have put this team to bed in the first half, and it's our own fault. Well, we we haven't won this game today. All right, the players on the pitch. I think Moyes. Made a great sub in Ben Johnson. Didn't see that one come in, and he deserves a lot of uh, credit for that. And let's be be honest: when Ben Johnson came on, we was we was getting fucking <laughs> controlled in the middle. And after uh, when ben, Ben's on the pitch, we was a completely different side. Um, so yeah, listen, we move on. We've got two weeks now till Bournemouth because we've got no game now. So it's a bit of rest, a bit of relaxation, and get some players in the Big door. Two we weeks. Big two weeks in the, in the transfer window. We need Calvin Phillips at this club. Anyone who doesn't doesn't like that, I don't understand what they, what they want. You know, like, quick yeah. qu- quick question for you guys, not to prolong this. If you mm-hmm. had to pick a left winger or defensive midfielder to be our one signing in this window, which position would it be? Johnson might have genuinely changed that today. That's the funny thing, just through that short cameo. But I think I would still go with defensive midfielder at the moment. Yeah. I'd go DM too. Yeah, I, I think I think if Alvarez goes down, which proves it today, we're a different, we're a completely different outfit. Kane, when Alvarez, you, when Alvarez is inside, we're good. DM, I think the fact that we've only got Alvarez is really worrying. The guy's a red card or an injury away from us team being a completely different team. Or a psychotic um, meltdown away. <laughs> exactly. He is a bastard. So, and the DM we're talking about here is. A, a really good one. It should be really good for us as well. Um, yeah, DM for me. I'd lo- obviously, we, you want both, really. Everyone wants both covered, yeah. but there you go. We should be getting both. That's yeah. That's the thing. And we're gonna we're gonna find out next in the coming weeks if we are. And listen, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to E20 Zone TV. Hit the like button. It goes a long way. Gets us out there. And hit the notification bell. It's two points dropped today, but it is what it is. Uh, fucking referee, mate. Do you know what I mean? Does us in the end. But I'll be back in a week to talk more transfers, West Ham and the general gossip of what's and, going on in the West Ham community. And a quick shout out to everyone for participating and putting your comments in the chat. We love you all, even if we disagree. Yeah, that's yeah. it, mate. It's it's you know, love is love and hate is hate and West Ham on the Michael shit, Salisbury <laughs> gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed so. Take it easy. Bye bye.